have you realized that whenever we pray the Our Father, we are limiting God's forgiveness to us? Whenever we pray the Our Father, we are saying, and we are imploring to God, Father, forgive me only if I am able to forgive my brothers and sisters. But if I am not able to forgive my brothers and sisters, please do not forgive me. That is what we are praying every time we pray the Our Father. We are saying, forgive us as we forgive. So it means that if we don't forgive, please God, don't forgive me, because I am unable to forgive my brothers and sisters. That's exactly what we are praying to God every time we pray the Our Father. And the gospel message today is that one servant was forgiven by the master a huge amount of money. But this servant that was forgiven was unable to forgive his fellow friend a little amount of money. How can you expect God treats you if you are unable to forgive? That was Jesus says at the end of today's gospel passage. And this is how my Father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Well, how? How will the Heavenly Father deal with me if I am not able to forgive my brothers and sisters? This is how God will treat me. You wicked servant, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is, said Jesus, how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. Hypocrisy caused God to be angry. And today we are experiencing the anger of God. Because from time to time, God gets angry. And what is what makes God angry? When we are asking God for forgiveness and we are unable to forgive our brothers and sisters. That is when God is angry. Now, I wonder what is what makes us unable to forgive. Sometimes, when I sit down to hear a confession, people come and say, you know, Father, I can forgive, but I cannot forget. And I say, well, if you can forgive, but you cannot forget, it means that you don't forgive. Because the one who forgives also forgets. And sometimes they said, Father, wherever I see that person, all resentment and bitterness comes to my mind, to my heart. Well, that is exactly what stops you 
from forgiving and forgetting. Resentment. Resentment and bitterness stops you from being able to forgive others. Three years ago, I told you a story. I don't know if you remember what I said a day like today, three years ago. Do you remember? It was a story of breaking free from bitterness and resentment. How can I break free from bitterness and resentment? Because if I make, if I break free from bitterness and resentment, I will be able to forgive. That's the good news. And if I'm able to forgive, God will forgive me, will forgive me. And that's the good news. How to break free from bitterness and resentment. Resentment is like a sack of potatoes. Have you ever tried to lift and carry on your shoulders a big bag, a big sack of potato, potatoes? Have you? If you haven't, that's what happens. Once a parishioner, and this is the story, once a parishioner went to his parish priest for confession. And he said, well, Father, you know, I cannot forgive. Well, if you cannot forgive, it's useless that you ask God for forgiveness. God will not forgive you. It's today's gospel reading. And that parishioner said, you know, Father, every time I meet that person, all that bitterness, all that anger, all that resentment, just only thinking of his name, bring all that feeling to me. What can I do? And the parish priest said, listen, do this. Have a big sack of potatoes. Whenever you meet that person, take one potato, carve the name of that person, and put the potato into the sack. And wherever you go, you have to carry the sack of potato with you, because that's part of you. That part of who you are, what you do. Okay. After one week, this poor lad had a big sack of potatoes full, like this. But he had to walk with the sack of potatoes wherever he was, at home, at work, in the street, because he couldn't get rid of resentment. It means he couldn't get rid of the sack of potatoes. So wherever he was, while he was sleeping, while he was at home, while he was eating, working, walking, driving, everywhere the sack of potatoes. And it was full, but not only heavy. Now after one week it was smelly because as he carved, the name of that person, that people, the potatoes started being rotten and smelling. So he went to the priest and he said, I cannot bear this. This is heavy. This is smelly. This is unbearable. This is not life. Well, that what happened to you when you are resentful and bitter to other people, you are carrying along your life a heavy, a smelly sack of potatoes. Well, how can I get rid of it? Well, try to fit into your mind, into your soul, into your life, 
positive feeling about the person you hate. How can I do that? Well, that's your task. Find a way. And when you feed yourself with wonderful feelings about that person, you take that potato of that person and put it in the beam. One by one, person by person, you will know that the sack will be coming lighter and lighter. Well, he started doing that. But the good news is that after two weeks, his sack of potatoes was absolutely empty. So this parishioner went back to his parish priest and said, Father, look, my sack of potatoes is empty. Well done. You've done a great job. Well, that's the way you have to live. What happened next? That after two more weeks, his sack of potatoes start filling up again because he met different people and some people may disagree with him, some people may have different point of views, some people may hurt him in different ways because he expected that people reacted in one way and that people reacted in the different way and his sack of potato start filling up again and again, becoming heavier again and again and smelly again and again. So after two weeks, this parishioner went to his parish priest and said, Father, two weeks ago, my sack of potato was empty, but now it's full again. What can I do? You know what you have to do? You need to get rid not only of the potatoes, but also of the sack. That is the container where you put all your potatoes. How can I get rid of the sack of potatoes? Well, you know how to get rid of the potatoes. Now you need to learn how to get rid of the sack. And the parish priest said, you know what the sack means, the bag, the sack. No, that means your ego. It's your ego that is what allows you to have potatoes and potatoes and store the potatoes and the potatoes become heavy and smelly. And what is my ego? Well, your ego is when you consider yourself the very center of the world. Your ego is your self-centered being. Your ego is when you are selfish. You think of yourself and anything that other people do, you think that is an attack to yourself. If some people say that, you think that they are attacking you. If some people look badly at you, you are taking as a personal attack. If that people, that's your ego that allows you to store the potatoes that become heavy and smelly and you cannot get of rid, get rid of it. So how can I get rid of the sack of potatoes? Well, what Jesus said about becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ, you need to renounce yourself. You need to think of Father instead, instead of you. 
You need to put in the center of your life your neighbor and not yourself. Every time you are in the center of everything, every time you are ruining your life and the life of others. You need, you need to replace the focus and the center of your life. That's why Jesus said, God said from thousands of years ago, love God and love your neighbor. And Jesus said, renounce yourself if you want to become a disciple of mine. This parishioner took the Bible and read the Old Testament and the New Testament and the commandment of love your neighbor and God in a different perspective, trying to get rid of that ego, not only the potatoes, but the sack. And once he started imploring God to live the gospel to the full, to love God and their neighbor, and to renounce himself, to become a disciple of Jesus, that is what happened. From this to this, that person felt free again, free from resentment, free from bitterness, free from the ego free from himself or herself. And that person start living again the joy of the gospel. And that person started smiling to others and replacing his bitterness by his smile. And that's what happened to us every time we forgive our brother and sister from our heart. 